everyone. Welcome to the Putnam again. Uh, Miss Lakin and Miss Bridget here. Today we're going to be making marshmallow toothpick towers. Uh, so this is a great one. You can try this one at home. Um, all you need, toothpicks and marshmallows. So we will be using the engineering design process for building our towers today. Uh, so with this process, uh, we're going to think about our tower, how we can construct it. Uh, we're going to design and think if you're at home. Go ahead, sketch out some ideas, pick your best one, and then you can start building. So when you're doing this, think about different shapes, um, different ways that you can build your tower. The goal for our tower today is to make the tallest tower. So Miss Bridget and I are gonna compete to see who can make the tallest tower. That's freestanding. So Miss Bridget, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so the first thing, if you're doing this at home, evaluate your materials. Uh, definitely, we have some squishy mini marshmallows today, and we have our toothpicks. Okay, so let's see. How about? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, start building. Let's see. We need like timed music or something. <laughs> like da -na -na. So when you're at home, think about uh, different shapes. Uh, squares, triangles, how you can build a 3D structure. I'm going, going to say the widest base wins. Because it's going to hold up. The widest base at Opeka. That's going to hold up. Good for That's a very stable, supportive bottom. That is my thought. Okay, so the goal is for height. So I'm going to build up and then I'll support it with a stronger base at the end. Let's see. And if you're doing this at home, maybe try to do it to see how many, how tall you can get it with using the least amount of supplies. Mm. Okay, we don't want a wobbly structure. How's yours looking, Miss Bridget? It looks more like a boat that's about ready to sink. Mine's pretty wobbly. I think I might need to reinforce the bottom. Maybe I'll add, maybe I'll add another toothpick to the bottom. I don't know, maybe that'll help. Supportive structure on the bottom. It's not doing so hot over here. <laughs> oh no! It's kind of caving in on well, itself. Well, that's the beauty of it. You try one thing, see how it works. If it doesn't work out, try something else. Let's see. I found that if I use two toothpicks on the bottom, it's kind of help for each mm. each one. It's kind of helping. And we're just going for the tallest one. If you're at home, you can see how much uh, weight your tower can hold, too. That would be kind of fun. Mine's not holding any weight, I can tell you that much. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. I don't know if mine will... <laughs> oh, look at you go! <laughs> And the temperature of the room might affect how uh, sticky oh, and gooey your marshmallows are. Okay, let's see. Ooh, oh, <laughs> you can just get the little top. It just has to be tall, so let's see. Ooh, you have a good base. Yours looks like it would withstand wind. Okay. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Is Yours is pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'll do the honors. I'll measure mine first. Okay, we have roughly, I'll say, seven inches. <laughs> Ooh, Bridget, I think you might, uh, I think you might, let's see. Okay. I don't want to touch your structure. What do, what do we? Oh, uh, mine's only like six and some change. Oh, man, that was super close. <laughs> that was super close. Okay, so yeah, this is a great fun activity, so definitely try it at home. Thanks for joining.